Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. So today I'm going to share with you this um, mini album that I made. So this one was a little bit out of my comfort zone. Um, for those of you who follow me, you know that I'm very clean and simple. I don't use too many um, embellishments, so my style is actually more minimalist, clean and simple. Um, but um, I'm love. I love seeing people's kitchen sink books, what I call them, where there's so many embellishments and so many fun things to do that I decided that I was going to try my hand at it. Um, so this book is way more embellished than what I normally do. It's not kitchen sink yet, but um, I'm getting there. So hopefully this helps somebody, Matt. The construction of the album was very simple. I have a tutorial on that. It's a really fast book, but it has a lot of um, interaction in it. So you can make several of these for Christmas gifts. And depending on how you mat, um, they come about quickly. Um, and to be honest, doing all this matting was probably, for me, it was probably a total of eight or nine hours. So... <laughs> Um, yeah, so here's the cover. I use the flat back pearl. Uh, well, all of this came from Country Craft Creations. Um, this is a design team project. Um, you guys can see my haul video and you can see this whole paper collection. It's doodle bug milk and cookies. Um, so on the cover here, I use the flat back pearl strands just to kind of outline the book. Um, I used um, this is from the ephemera pack and it just says Christmas. This is one of the cut up parts and actually I have the full size one here. I just trimmed it down. Um, the tree with the three stars was one of the sticker packs from the paper collection. Um, I had a tree and I have this one. These are called doodle pops. So they're super cute. They're very, they're popped up, they're layered. Um, this is all I have left from the ephemera pack and um, some pieces out of the collection that I cut out. But when I say I used up everything, I tried to use almost everything. The sticker sheet, I didn't use everything, um, but I left some stuff I think I'm going to use on a different project. Um, the seam binding all came from Country Craft Creations. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors that match the collection perfectly. There's like this um, wine color. There's a baby blue, a mint green, and a pink. Um, let me go with the spine. The spine I just left plain. I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet, but I just wanted to do this video. Um, I'm probably going to decorate this with something. In the back, I just left it a little plain. Um, I put the Marion Bright sticker and the Happy Holidays washi tape. Okay, so let me see if I can zoom out just a smidge. Sometimes it works, sometimes not. And I can never remember if it's like Alt or Control to plus or minus. There it goes. Okay, let me zoom in just a little bit. There we go. Okay, so I also made a few um, tags that I'm going to use to show you with the interaction in the book. These are the tags. I just used the scraps from the red paper. Oh, the red paper is the um, linen cardstock from Country Craft Creations as well. Um, and I have that in my stash. I actually bought it for another project, but I bought way too many packs, so it worked out perfectly. Um, I used my Wink Estella pen, as you can see, throughout this entire album. I just wanted a little extra shimmer and glitter. So, again, I just used the scraps and some pieces from the ephemera pack to make these tags. So you could use these as photo mats or um, just decorative elements. Or you can even use them as cards if you wanted to. Oh, I didn't wink anything on that one. Um, so I just randomly put a little sparkle, as you can see. Um, just to a few pieces, give it that shine, and then I made these two. I didn't like anything on that. Um, so we'll use these in and out of the book. And I did um, use this tutorial. Um, this was this is the punch board bow and the brushed silver, or er, silver, brushed gold 
color. Okay, so you just untie it somehow. Okay, maybe. <laughs> Sorry, it's still wet because I wanted it to crinkle. So it's still wet. Anyway, here's the first page. Now that all of the pages I added the washi um, to the gussets. And then on the first page, I just added it here. So this is the Christmas tree page and you can use this as, um, you can put a photo mat here, you can add a pocket. I didn't want to add a pocket because I have a lot of stuff going on in here, but um, so that's a really nice large space. This here is a half a page with, um, I used one of the cards from the collection and I just thought this came out super cute. So this was one of the banner pieces or the border pieces and I just cut it to match the page. Um, the ephemera pack comes with um, these like plastic see-through pieces. I can't think of the name of it right now. Um, but I did like this little short page and then it opens like this. So there's a nice spot here for pictures. Um, a perfect spot here. And these pictures are four by five and a half because I use them to actually go in that other little brag book that I made. So actually five and a quarter. So you see you can get you can put a full four by six picture there or here as well. So super cute. And then you can put your picture. This is how I like mine, um, where the picture is the star. So this is what I was talking about when I said I'm a minimalist, clean and simple, like this is enough for me and then my picture just stands out. But I'm also loving the framed picture and the extra little doodads. Okay, so here is the next page. So the next page is kind of a play on a traditional scrapbook layout. Remember when we all did the 12 by 12s before um, we started doing mini albums? Well, this is kind of the same thing. So you can add your super cute pictures, um, or if you have a smaller one, you can add it. And I did make these so you can just tuck the picture underneath it. And your little traditions. So, and I did his, uh, maybe I didn't, I thought I made his legs a tuck spot, but I didn't. This is a tuck spot here though. So it just tucks right in there. Yep, this is where you use those little three by three pictures or the three by fives. Um, okay, so the next one, this layout is a pocket and two little pictures. So um, here's the pocket by itself. I thought it was super cute. I just added a border piece from the um, sticker collection and I just went to sell with all the little pieces. Nothing else was needed. And then I made these little booklets. So you can journal in them, you can add more pictures, um, you can add a picture to the front if you really wanted to, and then have like two pictures on the inside and maybe some journaling. See how cute that is. Um, and that, again, that's just using the paper and one of the stickers. I just popped it up on, with foam tape. Here's um, a booklet that I did that's completely flat, so nothing's popped up. I just used a border sticker. I'm oh, sorry. I used a border sticker and um, one of the sayings from the Cut Apart page. And again, you can journal or put your pictures inside. And this one you can use as a card. Um, maybe you want to write a special note, Merry Christmas, um, or you can just give it like this. It's really cute. Or you can put more pictures. Okay. I got glitter all over my picture. Okay, so this one I thought was super cute um, to have just a piece of the ephemera. Um, oh, I also had the gingerbread men. Let me see if I can find the pack. It's gingerbread men and little candies. There they are. That's upside down, but it is the shape sprinkles. 
And this one happens to be the gingerbread and the candy. This is called sugar plums. Right, so they are. So I use the little sugar plums here and here. Again, use your smaller. Do I have a smaller picture? I have my big old selfie picture. So you can use your <laughs> your pictures here. That's actually pretty cute. Um, and then you flip up and I have a spot for journaling. It just says Winter Wonderland. Or again, you can put your massive face pictures if you want. And then this one down here just says you're the icing on the cake. Put your, um, these are, th let me tell you the exact measurements. These are three by four and a quarter. So it's probably two and seven eighths by four and an eighth is the white. So, um, I mean, it's still a great room for a great picture. And then again, you can stick your pictures here. You could even take this stuff out of the pocket and you can put a picture here and just have maybe this one tucked in like so. That's what I love about interactive books. You can even do that and have this one behind and you just kind of place it. You just have like a little sneak peek of a picture. Um, and that's where these come in. So um, if the recipient wanted to take the, you know, use these as greeting cards, um, they can always take those out and then add these, just plain old tags. And these are cute too because you pull them out and you have a picture on the back or some journaling or something like that. I feel like I'm forgetting something on a different page, but. Okay, so that's that. Let me put all this back together. I'm not sure if I'm going to give this book away. I'm going to keep it for myself because I really love it. Okay, so this is my full layout. I like to do full layouts on um, the middle of my books. Um, these are tuck spots, so you can tuck your tag. Oh. This is how you know you have quality cardstock. It's two layers, and mine just popped up. I just like hit it the wrong way, so one of the layers came up. But that's all right, because I'd rather have two layer quality. There we go. No worries. Um, so it's a tuck spot. This side here is a tuck spot too. It holds the cards in. It will hold your pictures, several pictures if you want. Um, I can even put some more what I call junk. You can put some more junk in it if you want. So it's pretty, it's a pretty thick tuck spot. Both sides work like that. Or if you don't even want the tuck spot, you can just put your pictures in like so and leave it like that. And you can, you know, put your another thing or something like a Merry Christmas or um, Happy Holidays or, you know, you can journal up there. Let me show you. Say you just wanted a little chimney, you could do that. Um, so it's it's really unlimited. If you're giving it to a crafty person, a crafty person may alter it. Um, you can have a sweet Christmas. You know, you can just alter it, add more stuff, take some stuff away. If you're sending it to a non-crafty person, I mean, they're going to leave it as is. Um, they may even ask you to put the pictures in for them which I've had that, um, but here's the full layout. When you open it, you have a massive space here. Um, and again, these are tuck spots. So you can tuck things underneath. Um, this layout would be super fun if I had like pictures of my kids or something and 
you know, you have the parents on either side, and then you can put your kids in the middle. Say you have a few configurations. Um, that's what I would do. You know, pretend like that's a picture. So you can do that. You can do like your family journaling. Um, if you have the big eight by 10 pictures, this will fit, um, you know, like I've seen people where they've cut them to fit. Um, so they're spread out on two pages. You can do that too on this one, or if you have your big five by sevens, um, like this one, I would probably add, if I was putting this picture in particular, I would add stuff to the top. I mean, I just leave it as is. They're super cute. Or you can just add another journaling spot because that looks super cute too. Maybe this one will have, I don't know, the tree. You can just kind of layer it up. So it still looks really cute. I think this is my favorite page. Obviously, it's very simple. Okay, so that's the middle page. And this is only five pages, but with like the full interaction, the flips and stuff. Um, oh, on the I did the tutorial video first um, when I constructed it. And so I did not have these pieces. And all I did was take a one and a half inch strip of red and I punched the Martha Stewart punch and I um, score taped it to um, this flip, the flap, I guess you want to call it. And you can't tell. Um, cause I wanted it to touch. At first I didn't want it to go all the way to the edge. And then I decided I did want it to go all the way to the edge. And the milk and cookies again, is just from the cut aparts. Okay, here is the next page where we just kind of repeat ourselves. So here is another pocket. And with this pocket, I went ahead and added a strip from the cut aparts on the Merry Christmas page. And it's the same configuration. It has the large one that we can use as journaling or, or a book. You can actually add a white computer paper to the middle of this with some ribbon and people can use it as a um, Christmas wish list or, you know, an address book where they need to send their thank you cards or whatever. Um, here's another flat one. And these are just two from the cut up. Actually, all three of these are from the cut aparts. So just kind of layered it up to give a flat um, element. And then this one, I think is one of my favorite. This is sprinkled with love. And this is the milk and cookies. Now this one is one of the clear acetate. Ha, that's the word I was looking for the acetate um, cut aparts, but um, I wanted it to stand out on this paper, so I just backed it on white, and I used the art glitter glue to glue it down, and I wasn't sure how that was gonna work out, um, but you can't really see it, so it worked out just fine. And then the cookies from the sticker collection, I just backed it on white, cut it out, and um, popped it up. So you can use that one as your card. Um, yeah. Okay. And then we have our flips again. And again, these will fit our, oh no, I done lost my head. Oh, here it is. Our super cute selfies. And then the flip down. So these ones just have, um, pattern paper and gumdrops. These are acetate gumdrops as well, bottom. And you can configure it to where maybe you want your picture to show like that, or um, let's see. Maybe you want one person to show there and ah, the other person to show that would have worked out. <laughs> that would have been great. <laughs> so you can do that. Um, that would be super cute too, or if you want to have just one picture in the middle, it still looks cute. Well, okay, if it's like just you peeking out. <laughs> so you can do that, or you can just put little 
some more little pictures underneath under the flats to hide them. I don't have any horizontal pictures because it was oh maybe this one. Like you can hide the kissing pictures from the kids. <laughs> so your configuration would be like this maybe. And you can journal. So that way you can still see the gorgeous paper because I know that's a, a lot of you get a lot of anxiety from um you know, you don't want to cut into the paper, but this way you don't have to. Okay. And the last page um, is the half page. I should have had it opening to this way, but um, I put it on upside down. So we're just going to go this way. Um, so this one was super fun too. I just took the stickers from the collection, the two mugs, and this is sticker... This is a sticker and this is a sticker. So I just thought this was really cute um, to kind of end the book. Like you're going to have your cocoa and you're done. Um, here's another one of those um, gumdrop stickers or sugar plums or whatever it was called. So this is kind of the same thing. Um, I made this a tuck spot so you can put your picture in like so. Or even if you have a bigger picture you can turn this whole page into the photo map. That will look cute too. So you can definitely do that. And then you have your full here for your five by seven, or if you wanted to do, you know, a couple pictures, you can still see the gorgeous paper and still have plenty of space for pictures. So that is my book um you can also do more of the you know add some more tags now each page is um, a pocket so you can add big maps to the pocket page the pages are um six by nine the actual pocket page size um, so you can fit a pretty decent size photo mat in there. Um, I haven't added because I haven't decided if I want to add um, pockets to there, but just to show you, it can fit in there like so. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah. So out of the tutorial, again, let me just show you the quick changes or what I added on. Oh, my washi's just too big. Oh, well. Um, for this little half page, I added this four and a half by six, or four and a half by six and a half um, to the flap. And let's see. Oh, and then the doily. Um, pieces to the center piece and I think those were the only two. Oh, and then the back here I added this photo mat to the, the cut page or the half page whatever you want to call it and this is seven and seven eighths by four. Actually, I think it's seven and three fourths. Yeah, seven and three fourths. Sorry, seven and three fourths by four. I honestly just used a piece of scrap that I had when I cut off the um, a different photo mat. Um, so that's all I use. I kind of save paper, so I don't have too many um, red leftovers. I'll show you what I have left. And I always save these because you can use these on different projects. Um, you can make more tags. You can make little booklets. Um, but out of the whole paper collection and the red paper pack, I didn't even use a full red paper pack, so I don't know how many sheets I used, but um, this is all I have left. So pretty conservative here with the paper. Uh, I don't know if that's the word I'm looking for. I'm so tired, guys. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is all I have left over, which is big enough to make three by three cards and my two front tags. 
And I do save like these little half an inch pieces because they're nice to put like border pieces on there. That's what I did to this one. I just thought it gave it a little extra zing. Um, so yeah, so I hope you guys like this and uh, stay tuned for the video, for the tutorial. Bye. Oh, and you know what? One more thing. Sorry. The tutorial does not, um, have the matting. So I'm going to flip through this one more time in case you want to mat exactly how I did. Um, you can, and um, if not, then go ahead and shut the video off and have a great night.